Hey, what's up guys? It's Keegan with Low and Coast Outdoors. On Saturday, I shot uh, two point with my bow. So today's Tuesday. I'm gonna try to, I kept the heart. I've never cooked the heart before, but I keep seeing a lot of videos and I keep hearing a lot of good things about it. People saying that once you eat it, you're never gonna throw it away again. So I kept it, I got the tenderloins and some vegetables. and I'll flip you guys around and show you the setup. All right, I got my charcoal started. This is the deer heart. When I was cutting it and trimming it up, I was kind of surprised at how oh well, the meat kind of the texture wise and even the color and the smell of it reminded me a lot of like dove meat. But there's a lot of meat on the heart. I never really realized or thought about it, but guess we'll see how it tastes. But I've got some applewood chips soaking in some water. We're gonna throw those on there and get it smoking a little bit. But got some onion and some crooked neck from our garden got two ears of corn for my wife because she really likes corn and this is our tenderloins and get those fried up I've just had them marinated inside of a thousand island dressing and this is some carne um, seasoning I've never tried it before but I figured we'll give it a shot on the heart but we're gonna get looks like our charcoal is about done so we're gonna get it thrown in and get it heating up and get this started We got the grill heated up pretty good. We've had the vegetables on for a little bit. It's looking nice. The deer heart's looking good. I'm kind of excited to try it. I don't know how excited my wife will be about trying it. She's not into new things very much, but it'll be interesting to see because if it turns out pretty good, I'll have to have my family keep theirs when they kill theirs this year. We've actually got an archery mule deer tag well it's an archery deer tag in Arizona in December and a javelina tag in December so we'll see how this turns out and if it's any good we'll have to keep them on those hunts if we get anything and cook it up but it's looking good so far not very good at the whole talking to the camera thing. <clears throat> My little brother Zach, he's been in the rattlesnake hunting video and uh, a few of the bow fishing videos. He's with me in quite a bit of the stuff that we do. We kind of started this channel together, but he makes fun of me all the time because I've never formally introduced myself, but he hasn't either in any of the videos, you know, that make about it. So he really doesn't have room to talk, but I'm going to try to be better about talking to the camera. It's kind of awkward for those who are just starting out doing it, not really used to it, people give me weird looks all the time when I'm attempting to talk to the camera, talk to my phone, but my landlord was giving me funny looks earlier when I was starting the grill up, talking to it, doing the intro, but the videos will get better, I promise, for all 51 of my subscribers out there, I appreciate you watching them, if you do watch them, but at least thanks for subscribing. Anyways, we'll check on the grill, I think it's time to start turn in the meat flip you around all right Ooh, the tenderloins are looking good so is the heart I'm trying to try to flip them Take a look at these tenderloins and get them flipped. It's been about five minutes. Oh yeah. That looks good. Get some more wood chips on here. Get it smoking a little bit more. I think our vegetables are about done. At least our onions and our crooked neck look done. Anyways, we're about ready for the taste test. Alright, sorry for the lawnmowers in the background, but got it all plated up. This side over here, this is the deer heart, the tenderloin, and then our vegetables. Flip you around and we'll do a taste test on it. Kind of nervous. Alright, we're going to do the taste test. So this is the heart. We'll focus on it, not me. Here we go. It's 
super tender. I mean, really tender. That's a lot more tender than I would think that it would be. To be honest, it really doesn't have a taste on its own. It's kind of, I guess it's a little bit irony, but I think that this kind of meat would be really good in like a taco with a whole bunch of things to accent it. Some cilantro and stuff, but for the most part, I actually really like it. I would definitely eat it again. So, if any of you guys have ever thought about it, might be a little bit nervous about it. I soaked it in salt water for a day just to try to pull any of the blood flavor or the irony flavor out of it as much as I could to try to clean it up, but I really like it. It's got a good texture to it. I encourage you guys to try it, so any 51 of my subscribers that are out there, try in Deerheart. It's pretty dang good. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like us and subscribe to us, and follow us on Instagram at Lewin Outdoors. We appreciate it.